Um, now, a Worcestershire nature reserve, which helps people with mental health problems, has raised major concerns that a cash subsidy encouraging people to invest in social enterprises could be scrapped. Wild Goose Rural Training in Hallow is a 42-acre farm which takes in children excluded from school, adults suffering, suffering mental health issues, people with disabilities. They've got lots of facilities there for people to enjoy. Now, since 2014, anyone investing in social enterprises gets 30% cash back from the government. So if you loaned £1,000, you'd get £300 back straight away. But that subsidy is due to be scrapped from April 2021. It's causing uproar including at Wild Goose, which got 85 grand from it to build a new hub. Our reporter Tom Edwards spoke to the MD, Jim Hiddley. So this is the main hub of the site, and that social investment actually helped fund this. Yeah, absolutely. So without access to that funding, we would not have this facility now. Having access to, to that fund gave us something that we could never have dreamed of actually we've seen young people that have arrived here you know schools don't know what to do with them to the point where we had one young lady she arrived from her school they never wanted to see her again and within a year she'd won young volunteer of the year now at the moment you're on lockdown but there's a guy in there he's come in and he's helping out and he's on that in that vulnerable category can i have a chat with him oh, absolutely yeah yeah do oh. oh, you must be ben yeah i'm ben so i've kind of struggled on and off with mental illness um, throughout my life things got really bad for me um, after i left university i had a failed suicide attempt looking and then it was sort of a last ditch attempt to come here for help. I hadn't left the house previously for nine months to no. a year. And it was just sort of welcoming as soon as I came here. I used to hide in the office, start off with. Really? But the staff here totally accepted that and they went out of their way to make me be able to take part as much as I could. I can now go shopping. <laughs> so going to Fantastic. Tesco's or Sainsbury's is no problem at all going to shops. Tell me how much this place means to you. It means everything. I've been withdrawn for so long. I felt like I didn't have a connection to the outside world. And this is what re-established that for me and made me feel like I was a human again almost. Melanie Mills is from the Big Society Capital, which helps social enterprises access funding. Morning to you, Melanie. Good morning. How concerned are you about this? Um, well, we're really concerned because um, social enterprises and charities who, who need to raise investment tell us that what they really need is access to patient and affordable capital and that tends to need some level of help or subsidy so social investment tax relief enables them to do that um, and this is particularly important as we face the recovery and as you heard from Ben there um, organisations who help um, individuals and communities who are disadvantaged and isolated will need access to as much of this type of capital as they can and it's really important because this is actually private capital it doesn't come from the public or government so it's going to be ever more needed so what, what's the the next step then in making sure they they can still get some funding what do you want to see happen well um actually this is a particularly local theme because um the mp for hereford and south Herefordshire, jesse norman is actually the financial secretary to her majesty's treasury who will be leading on this review and i think it's really important that as well as Wild Goose Rural Training, you know, there are other organisations like Burley Gate Community Rural Shop and also Stockwood Community Benefit Society in Worcestershire who raised investment through community shares um, using social investment tax relief. So what we'd really like the government to do is to think about initially extending social investment tax relief so that social enterprises and charities can access it. And then we'd also like to revise and improve it so that more social enterprises and charities can access that type of capital. So, yeah, definitely um, lobby MPs. And we'd really like to hear from any other groups in Herefordshire or Worcestershire who are thinking about raising investment and want to know more about the tax relief and if it could help them. Melanie, thank you very much. That's Melanie Mills, the Big Society Capital. The Treasury says they'll announce a decision over the scheme later this year. But we'll follow that for you here on BBC Hereford and Worcester.